Right, I did, I did. Uh, I, was, I was so shocked about, did you see what she, um, what she, she had on that, on. It's just to the audacity to come to school and only show up to what, do your work classes every single day and then mock me for being a bad student. Why do you guys not too much stuff James Mambo and uh and Mambo and Mambo. Good morning everybody. We're going to pick back up where we left off yesterday. We're talking today about value. Values are the different sh shadings that artists use, lights and darks. Artists use values to translate the light and shadows they see into shading, thus creating an illusion of third dimension. Hatching and cross-hatching are some simple and helpful techniques for drawing shading. A full range of values is the best ingredient for shading. Contrast I love cats. can be used to make strong differences in lights and darks. By using extremes of values like more light and dark values, the middle values, you create a high contrast drawing. For a really powerful, strong, and dynamic drawing, you can draw very Halloween is such a fun holiday. Light areas. When a drawing has mostly light and middle values, it is called low contrast. Some drawing subjects need to be soft and gentle. SAT tests are coming up. I'm so not ready for that. Use a full range of values. Think about a white kitten, for example. Most of the shading is very light, but the drawing becomes more powerful if you use a little dark shading in a few selective areas, such as the pupil of the eyes and the shadows. Seeing values is key to Maybe I'll dress up as Uma Thurman for Halloween this year, or maybe I'll cosplay. I'm not really sure yet. I wonder what science experiment we're going to do. Out to see simple values and shapes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 